hi guys welcome back to my channel it's ada here as always in today's video we are going to talk about how to manage fabrics while you are cutting i always get this question like oh ada how do i know how many inches allowance i should leave you know so that most people complain of okay when they are done leaving their sewing allowance and everything it becomes excess or they don't know if this fabric will be enough for them to cut because they don't know how to manage fabric and trust me i've been there when i was learning how to sew i was there <laughs> but with time i learned simple tips and tricks that helped me manage fabric better and in this video i'm going to share those simple tricks and tips with you if this is your first time here make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will get notified okay <music> Now, the first tip I'd like to give everybody is the game of approximation. I just have to give each tip a name, okay? I don't want to sound too fancy, but it's the game of approximation because when you want to sew, if you are a tailor, you know that we do, a lot of things we do has to do with mathematics, you understand? So, it's the game of numbers. So, let me just quickly give you this simple illustration. If my hips is 40 inches, my hips is 40 inches, and I want to cut the skirt. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down my calculator and type 40 inches. Now you ask yourself, okay, how many inches allowance do I want to give for sewing? So most some people give one inch, but I always advise beginners to do 1.5 inch because you may run into a mistake at that 1.5 inch to save a lot. So one um, 40 inches plus 1.5 inch. Now this 1.5 inch on both sides is three inches so we already have the three inches already do you understand then i like to add one extra inch so one extra inch is 44. do you guys see where we are going to one extra inch is 44. so when i want to cut i know that i am cutting out 44 inches width of fabric do you understand let me say the length of my skirt is 26 so i'm going to cut out 26 that's the length I'm going to cut that to 26 inches, but the width is going to be 44 inches. So that way, my sewing allowance, my dart allowance, you know, the seam allowance left for sewing is still there. So when I'm done cutting and uh, picking my darts and sewing, I still have been able to manage fabric as against, you know, cutting out a wide piece. And after shaping out, I realized that I have this huge chunk that has gone into waste. Do you understand? With with tailoring, yes, there are little pieces that go into waste. But when you have like three inches wasted fabric from sewing allowance, from seam allowance, you know, you know that one is very very painful. So this is one way. This is like the most like one major way to manage fabrics when you are cutting to get your numbers right to add the actual sewing allowance you know and add one extra inch so when you are cutting you know what you are working with okay now the next simple trick to saving fabric or managing fabrics when you are cutting is your folding technique now let's say you have one yard of fabric the le the, the length of the fabric is 60 inches of course one yard is 36 inches and you want to cut a skirt you already know that this is 36 inches this way and this is 60 inches this way if you fold and my hips is 40 so automatically if you are folding it along the one yard along the one yard width you can't get your your you can't get your desired hips because the desired hips let's say for me is 40 but if you turn it the other way around and cut it in direction of the length you will be able to, you'll be able to get enough allowance for your hips Say this is a one yard fabric okay so one yard is 36 inches and let's say the length of this fabric is 
60 inches okay that's 36 by 60. now my hips is 40. if i want to fold this fabric if i want to fold this fabric to get to cut this skirt this is already 36 inches which means i can't even get my hips here so me folding this fabric and when i'm done cutting i realize that i can't get my hips here it's a waste of fabric okay but by the time i turn it like this by the time I turn it like this, I'll be able to fold it into four because this is already 60 inches and this is 36 inches and that way I will get my hips. Do you guys understand? So your folding technique can also help you when it comes to cutting your fabric because if you are just like, oh, I'll cut one piece here, it doesn't get, if it didn't get to, to, to my hips, I'll go to the other side of the fabric and cut again. You just keep having pieces and pieces here and there. And you see another person that was giving same fabric, was able to sew that style and still have leftover fabric. Do you guys understand? Another way to manage fabric when you are cutting, we are still on the, we are still on the maximization of fabric and sewing, is to place your pieces the right way. I'm going to explain this to you with a flared, okay? So this is a flared piece. I want to illustrate this um, technique to you guys. So this is my flared, not flared, my A-line. This can also work for flared as well, but I'm doing this with A-line. So I'll just go ahead to cut the first piece, cut the sides, and I'll have a working piece. So this is my working piece. Now you can see the big gap that we have on the fabric. So I want to show you one technique here. The first thing you can do is spread out the fabric. You guys can see the big chunk we have there. The, the down part that had the broader side of the flared has less material. Why the top part that had the lower, that had the narrow side of the flared had like more fabric. So you can just take your main piece and lay it on the fabric like this. That way this other part, you know, would not go into waste. For so for this technique you have to cut it. You have to cut because this the first part I cut is the front part. For for this technique you have to cut the back part into two pieces like this. Okay, you just lay it like that and cut it. So I'll show you another way and the second way to do this is to actually fold the fabric. You know the way you normally fold when you want to cut your A-line. You fold like that. I have to turn. Make sure you smoothen it out. You guys can see that the lower part that had you guys can see that the top part that had like the narrow flared has more fabric while the lower side that had the broader flared has small fabric so i turned the fabric to to the front so, so you guys can see what i'm doing so you, all you just do is turn it the other way around and place it do you understand so you more like cut your flared or your a-line up and down do you understand so this part you have more fabric in the top okay because the top part is narrow by the time you want to cut the back part you turn the flared over like upside down so that you utilize the fabric you didn't utilize when you're cutting the front part after folding so it's these these are just like very very simple techniques that you can use to manage fabrics when you're cutting and when you're sewing it will also help you minimize waste because you find out that okay you've utilized this one here you've utilized that one here you are not just going into the bulk fabric every single time i hope this explanation is is easy or is well understood if you don't understand me just look at what i'm doing okay so you've seen how to maximize your fabric when you're cutting a flat it's just very simple and very easy that way you would have excess left over here and there and you'll be able to maximize each corner and each fold on the flare do you guys understand another way to manage fabrics when you are cutting is what we call pieces placement so let's say for example 
I cut the front part of my dress. The front, I cut a flared. After cutting a flared, the front part of my dress is a bustier, which means maybe I have to cut it separately from the back. You guys know that when you, when you are done cutting a flared, you have pieces and pieces here and there. So instead of going to the main fabric and folding it and trying to, you know, cut cut out maybe the, 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 the bodies, that's the front part of the dress or the back part of the dress. You can just look for little, little pieces that came out from the flare and see if what you want to cut. If you can get maybe a little square to cut the front or to cut the back, that way you'll be able to maximize the pieces instead of just all the time going into the large chunk, all the time going into the large chunks. Do you guys understand? Another way to manage fabrics when you are cutting is to use your patterns. Trust me guys, making use of patterns saves you a lot of fabric. Some of the things you want to cut, maybe if you just had to do freehand cutting, you waste more fabric compared to when you are using your patterns because your patterns are just straight to the point. You can even maneuver it, you can place it in certain ways if you want to cut and if you want to sew do you guys understand so these are just like very simple ways you know to manage your fabric using a pattern trust me guys ask anybody when you use patterns to cut it helps maximize and manage your fabric and there is little to no waste trust me with dressmaking there is always waste but when you use your pattern it minimizes the waste that comes out from each bundle of fabric okay other way to manage fabric when you are cutting is to double check your measurement. <laughs> this one is as simple as ABCD where it can cost you a lot of fabric. When you are done marking your waist, your hips, you know your bust, your ample, one thing that will save you headache and save you fabric is if you go over to double check your measurements and to check if you have added the approximate sewing allowance and that allowance so you so you run into problem because some people you know by the time they, they are done marking they don't always go back to check okay did i add enough sewing allowance did i add enough that allowance because by the time you do all this when you are done cutting you won't have to do ha ah, yeah I didn't add now the fabric has gone into this. Do you understand? So when you add when you, you mark out your measurement, I always tell you measure twice, cut once. Okay. By the time you mark the first time, you know, after calculating what we, you would need to cut to sew that your sewing allowance, your seam allowance, your that allowance, after marking everything out on your fabric, the next thing you should always do is double check. Sometimes I check three times. You know, double check. Okay, my boss. If my boss is thirty-six, did I add two extra inches for sewing? If my hips is forty, did I add through two extra inch for sewing? By the time I double check this thing, left, right, and center, and I go ahead to cut, I know that I have the right working piece to sew because if I don't have the right working piece to sew, I have to cut over again, which means that other part has gone into it. Is it that I make it for a smaller person and if you don't have a smaller person around, let's say it's a client's fabric, either you have to buy that client's fabric back to her or explain one book and to me to her why her fabric was not enough. Do you guys understand? So this one is like another very simple and very easy way to manage your fabrics when you are cutting because trust me, it will save you headache. Now one thing you will always know as you progress with dressmaking, you learn on the go. You learn more tips, you learn more tricks on how to manage your fabric. Once upon a time, I didn't use to cut with patterns. Right now, I do both pattern and freehand, depending on what I'm cutting and what I'm sewing. So you learn as you go. There are some tricks I would have shared here, but somebody else has more tricks or better tricks. Okay, so don't just sit down and say I'm not going to cut until I learn how to manage my fabric. No, the more you cut, the more you become more confident, you know, with how many seam allowance you can leave, how many you can gamble with, you know, how many you can play around with. You literally learn on the job, okay? You literally learn on the job. So that is why you have to keep sewing, you have to keep cutting, you have to keep practicing because the more you keep doing this, the more you learn. Okay, so these are just my simple tips simple tricks on how to manage your fabrics while you are cutting if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will get notified i'll see you in my next video bye